differences between java and javascript because javascript and java or java and javascript anything you can say many people what they are thinking you know to learn they are thinking that to learn javascript we required java knowledge because in javascript what is the first word is available java they are thinking like that so let me for that reason i want to give you the difference here one side i will write java and one side i will write javascript you know java means it is a non scripting language but javascript is nothing but it is a scripting language i already told you in java classes what is the difference between scripting and non scripting scripting language means we will execute a program directly we will run the program what directly but non scripting means what we should do first compile then execute so we cannot execute our program directly but here we will execute our program directly like python python is also scripting language python also we can execute program directly next is what here next is what here let me tell you we can run individually we can run individually here i can say we can't run individually sir i didn't understand sir assume that i am creating one java program so that java program i can execute i can run directly in a computer directly but if i am writing a javascript program javascript file so that javascript program i cannot execute directly not possible let's take an example of css recently we finished css also so css comes with what file dot css file it will comes how many types of css we have three inline internal external so external i am telling external means we need to create dot css file so do you think that dot css file can be run individually not possible you need to attach this css file with html file then only you can run that program then only you can execute css file so similarly suppose if you want to create a javascript file we will use js dot js extension js means what javascript but remember we cannot execute javascript file directly again we need to connect with what html because our browser will understands html only remember that is the reason next i can say we don't required browser for execution browser for execution here i can say we required a browser window otherwise i will say we require we don't required browser window for execution but here we required a browser window for execution compulsory sir okay sir i got an idea so every javascript output will come in browser only html output comes on browser css output will come on browser similarly javascript output will comes on browser so compulsory what is required browser window browser window is compulsory sir for outputs but in java outputs are coming in browser ah huh? advanced java programs will come in browser but core java program jdbc programs output uh, it's coming on what console only console means command prompt so we don't required browser window for execution next next what i can say is nothing but it is a it is a strongly strongly typed checking language okay it is a strongly typed checking language 
it is a loosely typed checking language. Sir, why are you telling that it is a strongly typed checking language? Why you are telling JavaScript is a loosely typed checking language? Because, see, assume that if I am writing a Java coder, system dot out dot print ln. So what is last what we should do? Semicolon. Semicolon is what? Compulsory. If I miss semicolon, error will come. Compile time error. Semicolon missing. So here strongly type checking, sir. Everything will be strictly checking, sir. But when you are writing, when we are working with JavaScript, you don't need to write semicolon. Optional. You want to write, write. If you don't want to write, don't write. Leave it. Because it is a loosely type checking language. It is strictly not checking. So that point is also available. Next, what I want to tell you is one thing I want to tell you here. Uh, after this, it is a, it is a complex language. It is easy language compared to Java. So, so one student was asking to me, sir, it's a full stack development course, sir. So shall I build my career in front end or back end? So I can say front end. Why? Because front end means what you're very less code. Those who are not good in coding, for them, I am telling this one. Building your career in front end is easy. HTML tag based language, CSS only for applying the styles. JavaScript is also easy language when compared to Java. It is easy language compared to Java. So tell me what will you prefer now? Front end only now. So please understand. Those who are not good in Java for them I am telling. Understood my point here? No? So you can find this many things is there here. Understood everyone? What is the difference between Java and JavaScript? But do you think that to learn JavaScript, do we require Java knowledge? No. No, we don't require. I didn't say that to learn JavaScript, we require Java knowledge. Some people are thinking like that. JavaScript means Java knowledge is required. No, that is wrong. Understood my point here now. 